Coming up on The Hype, the dynasty of Nat Kelly. MTV's Unplugged is back and Margot's Afray Ski Realness. Hey everyone and welcome to The Hype. Coming up, we talk weddings, catfights and girl power in our LA interview with Aussie mega babe Natalie Kelly as she gives us the scoop on her hit show Dynasty. But first, in music news, MTV's Unplugged is back with Aussie band Gang of Views. The MTV Unplugged is like pretty extraordinary. To hear the crackles in their voice, something that feels intimate and really powerful. The iconic 90s music show made famous by the likes of Nirvana and Mariah Carey is having a renaissance. MTV revived the format late last year with a standout performance by Canadian singer Shawn Mendes. The Aussie band are the first ever to feature in the series and one of four local artists to film Unplugged this year, with Gang of Youths hitting Melbourne's Cobblestone Pavilion in July to record. The guys have had a stellar year since taking out almost every award at the 2017 Arias for their second album, Go Farther Into Lightness. And we can't wait to hear what a stripped back version of their music sounds like. MTV will confirm the air date later this year. Nat Kelly is the star of classic 80s reboot Dynasty, but this reimagining takes girl power to a whole new level. We sat down with the Aussie beauty to see how she takes control both on and off the screen. We're here in LA celebrating the Max Mara Women in Film event. I think this is a really important time to be a woman. We're being heard in a way that we haven't been for a long, long time. And I love events like this that are about women supporting other women. Let's talk a little bit about Dynasty. Okay. This show is just, it's huge. Tell me how this role came about for you. I had just finished playing Sybil on Vampire Diaries. The people at the network liked what I had done with Sybil and they encouraged the producers to take a meeting with me. It doesn't always happen like that. And it was super grateful that they saw me as the reimagined Crystal Carrington. Obviously these cat fights, they're different to the ones that were in the original because you're not fighting over a man anymore. In today's times, women have made so many strides, CEOs and leaders of companies, and we wanted to reflect how far feminism and women have come in the show, so therefore, Fallon and I don't fight over her father. That's like a very peripheral kind of argument. Mm. It's more about who's going to take over as CEO of Carrington Atlantic. More like an ambush. That is no way to talk to your new boss. That's right. He offered me the COO position. That was supposed to be mine. You just got married? Yes. In Australia? I met someone on New Year's. I proposed to him in March, and we got married in April. Oh, my God. Oh, that's amazing. Well, how did you do it? We had just been to the Rye show in Atlanta. And I love Rye. Rye's a really good friend of mine. Um, and his girlfriend is my best friend, so we're all kind of family. And I took Jordan to the show, and we came home afterwards, and we were just so high on love and the energy from his show. It's a really amazing performer. And we were in the bathtub together. I'd forgotten about Australian humour and how important it is to me. He's the first Australian guy I've dated since I was a teenager. Oh, wow. And I was like, this was the missing link. I just needed to be with someone from home. So we were just cracking up for hours. And then I was like, you know, I guess this is how people must feel when they ask someone to marry them. And he's like, are you asking me? And I thought about it and I was like, yeah, I am. He's like, okay, let's do it. And I was I like, is April 29th good for you? <laughs> for more Nat Kelly news, head to E! Online. This week, we're hyped about Margot Robbie in all her après ski glory. The Aussie actor is the ambassador for French fashion house Chanel, and her first campaign with the brand is Beyond. Shot by the seriously talented Karl Lagerfeld, the campaign has us saying, we'll have one of everything. Is credit OK? Robbie describes Lagerfeld as a creative mastermind. And we have to agree, who knew pigtails were back? Robbie has recently been confirmed as Sharon Tate in Quentin Tarantino's latest movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The film will also star Tarantino faves Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. The flick is set for release late next year. In the meantime, let's all just sit back and look at how pretty. That's it from us, guys. We'll be back on Saturday with legendary psychic and crossing over star John Edward. In the meantime, be pop cultured and hit us up for all the latest in celeb, fashion and entertainment news. See you then.